Yes, sneaking us back tonight. Tonight we have, yeah, a Gen 2. Sabion 9. Yeah, Sabion 9. Yeah, it's been about 3-4 months since the last one. and done it for a while, have we? Now, this is the one with XFCE, so it's super duper farty, lovely, jubbly, jubbly, and all that. Please bear in mind it's nearly a 1.5 gigabyte download before you even start. I'm just telling me it's all up to date. I've installed it, by the way. As you do, you know, have to install it. You can't really run it properly from the live CD. You have to really install it to get the real gist of it. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Now it's running XFCE 4.10, and it's telling me more stuff here, by the way. So it's their own little way of doing it here. Yes, I've got, I've got an XFCE 4.10 system on another system that doesn't run Gen 2 or Sabion, by the way, and doesn't look like this whatsoever. So it's their own custom build. So you get applications menu up the top. Get up here, little file system sneaky thing, and a searchy sneaky thing. Oh, I'm knocking it already. It's lots of sneaky things in it. You get a clipboard, you get four workspaces, you get the time, and that's your update. Make sure it's all up to date, which it is. I've just downloaded it and installed it. And there is your network. Now remember, I am wired here because I like being wired. Okay, down the bottom here, we have our trash. So I can have my trash if I really want to. But come up, yeah, trash is empty. Don't need to do it. Ooh, don't need to empty it at all. And down the bottom here we have me, sneaky. So you can lock screen, suspend, or shut down, or log out, which I'm not going to do either of. Okay. Being XFCE, you do get some stuff on the desktop. You get home, Rego. Right, Rego, I'm going to come to in a little while. Okay. You get live help, donate because they want some money to help them do it. Oh, hang on. Another trash did come up. Now, this is the problem with XFC 4.10 at the moment. It's a bit laggy. There is a fix for it, and I can't remember it off the top of my head. Somebody did tell me it the other day. Okay. But even though you get the error message, it does come up. This will all be fixed in the next four weeks, as far as I'm aware. Okay, Dogley. So anyway, we're in Sabion, which is Gen 2 based. Now remember, if you're on Gen 2, or sorry, Sabion 8 or 7, you do not have to install this. It's a rolling, 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 rolling cider release. Do they drink cider? Maybe, maybe not. It's, it's a rolling release, so you don't have to do it. But if you're using your system a lot to do videos and stuff, and it's starting to get all full and a bit laggy, you might as well just install the new one and get it over and done with, if you know what I mean. So anyway, much about do nothing and all that stuff. Applications menu. You get as it's XFC, you get run program, a terminal emulator, a file manager, a mail reader, a web browser, settings, Right, get all this. By the way, Flash is installed by default, so that's nicey nicey. It's not too super fast, but hey, what do, what do I know? Yeah, what do I know? And you get all the usual XFCE stuff here. Under Settings Manager, you can do your appearance, desktop, file manager, screensaver, preferred applications, panel, window manager, window tweaks, and workspaces. Do you display a keyboard, mouse, and touchpad, your power manager if you've got a lappy. And accessibility and Mimi, I like Mimi, she's really nice Mimi. And session and startup and settings editor. Yeah, sounds all right. Anyway, that's enough about me. What about you? And accessories, you get application file. This is all basic SFCE. This is why I'm not going to do too long a video on this because it's all like hunky dory. The only reason I'm doing it is because it's Gen 2 based and it's nice and stable and does what it says on the tin. They have all new stuff and stuff like that. Get G Note. What's G Note? Is that not Tomboy Notes? Obviously not. What do I know? Nothing at all. Okay. Don't want to do that. No. Go away. Bye. Okay. Under graphics, you do get Gimpy as standard, which I do like, so I do like my photos. Oh, look at that. Now that's nice, isn't it? It looks all nice and it's Gimpy 2.8. Standard. Now, as you will find if you start using Sabium, they like to get the latest packages into their system. Yeah, the latest. A bit like you Arch guys, you've got the latest and greatest, and this is what you do. But sometimes it breaks Arch. But with Gen 2 and Sabion, or maybe Sabion, it doesn't break so often if you want the up-to-date stuff. So that's super duper, isn't it? Okay, where was I? For Strata and Shop over here also, and the internet, your basic browser is Midori. Okay, that's a standard one. I'm not happy with Midori at the moment, I've told you before, so hey, never mind. Yeah, Pigeon, Transmission, XChat. Multimedia, it's X, how is your player? Yes, okay, you get your mixer for your mixing stuff. Movie for your movie stuff. Under Office, we get the full LibreOffice suite, which is 3.5.3, .3, which I really, really, really like. Under Sabion, you get all the stuff to help you along with Sabion, basically. And under System, you get Bulk Name, Firewall Manager, 
Magneto updates man <laughs> Magneto updates notifier which comes as standard anyway you don't have to redo anything it does it all for you manage printing Rigo as I'm going to come back to in a second the task manager I'll open it up for you so you can have a look in the book as you can see it's not using nothing with this dual more core machine here only seven percent eighty percent memory no swap it's not doing anything at all no it's not so it's really nice anyway as it's thunar you get a thunar file major and you get ux term and x term hmm well, i've known one personally but that's just me and about xfce as you can see version 4.10 of xfce now personally i do think it needs a bit more work but hey that's me what do i know don't shoot the messenger now rego is a new one on the block for sabion they're trying to harden up their repositories and stuff like that to make it easier for you and nicey nicey blah, blah 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 as you can see there are two notices from the repositories so let's have a look and it's just people it's just little icons there saying oh yeah 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 blah 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 this is what's going on what's going down yeah well we'll close there yeah. i don't want anything about that way no bye open we go again oh, let's see what's in the repos okay stop annoying me thank you very much so i'm going to put in an open shot just to see if it's in their repos 1.4.2 is in their repos do you want me to install it shall i install it mm, yeah go on then. so we click on install so it gets done stuff now i will tell you now installing in savion it is not as quick as normal okay it's always a little bit slower but it is gen 2 needs to be password on It's always it's always been ever since I've started using it. Oh, I didn't tell you this. I have got a dedica dedicated system for Sabion. I started on with Sabion six. It's quite old. It's about five years old now, but it runs okay, you know. You know, it's all right. Yeah, you can live it. It's unky dory. But you know, it is a rolling release now. When I went from six to eight, it did have a bit of problems, so I installed eight on it, and it went, went you know really, really, really nice and easy peasy, really. So if you want a rolling release that's not Arch, and you want to go with Gen two, this could be the one for you. Now, for all you saying, oh, well, Arch is best, Arch is best. Well, I'm going to do an Arch one in a couple of days' time and do the opposite. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Let's get some more info while it's doing it. Because otherwise we could be here for some time. Should we say show me? So it's a lot different from the other one. Is it entropy, was it? Oh, I don't know what it was. I can't remember now. It's what you want to do at the end of the day, isn't it? If you want to donate, if you've got a couple of quid to spare, or in the, in the United States, it'd be a couple of dollars. You do what you have to do. I do donate to certain projects, yes. It won't be a lot of money, because I ain't got a lot of money. Because nobody has at the moment, unless you've won the lottery which I didn't last night because there was no money and I didn't have no numbers. Okay. Anyway, we're halfway through, halfway through, halfway through. I'm going to go to a different desktop and show you something else. Anyway, we go to applications and we go to internet. As you can see, I've installed Chromium because Midori just doesn't cut it for me. So obviously as we're installing, it's going to be a bit longer. Okay. Oh no, it wasn't really. That was quite good, wasn't it? Lovely. I like it. So if we put... Let's see what comes up. I've lost, spelt it wrong, obviously. No, it's there. Sabion, 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 Sabion. And we go to the home page. Five to one, we're almost there. I think this machine's doing quite well, considering. He tells you all about the lecture release. After three months of hard work, remember it is every th every third, not a quarter, every third it comes out, Sabion. But as it's a rolling release, you don't have to do it. And I've already told you that. Oh, about ZFS. Right, they can't install it as standard. You have to do it afterwards, okay? So once you've installed it, you can have ZFS, ZFS as your file system if you really wanted to. If you go to their site, you can see it all here. I've downloaded quite a few of these. I downloaded the Core CDX, which runs Fluxbox, which I'll be doing probably the end of the week, you know? So not anyway, because I like Fluxbox. Do you like Fluxbox? I do, yeah. Downloads are really quick. The servers are really, really good. So it's really nicey, nicey. I like it, like it, like it. So get rid of that. And see how we're doing our install. We're almost there. So, shall I have another trinkage? Yeah, I might as well. Hang on. See, now you can see a difference between installing on a Debian based distro or any others and a Gen 2 based distro. It is always slower. 
Obviously, if I have my new machine, which I haven't got yet because I've not built it, it might be faster. But I will tell you that when the time comes, because I'm going to run quite a few of the newer distros on it, just to see if they're multi-threaded and they can do what they say on the tin. Because a lot of them say, what, what is it multi-threaded? We're multi-threaded, we can do really, really quick and blah de blah de blah de blah de blah But I can't tell because my machine I'm using here is quite old. I mean, I've got a quad-core machine here, but it's quite a few years old. So it won't be doing a lot of stuff that the new ones can do, if you know what I'm saying. And you may like to add to that. Anyway. Applications. What else can I show you while it's doing stuff? What's it in the task manager? Let's have a look. Right, let's have a look. Ooh, lot of CPU. No memory, no really. Now I tried to install up here on the panel a CPU monitor. But... It didn't want to play ball. Look, you only get the basics. You've not got the super duper ones like you do in a Debian based distro or some of the others. So you're going to have to add them at your own request and desire. Okay, so we quit that. Nearly done. We're 95%. I'm sorry about the two minutes it took or three minutes it took to bloody install all this, but I just want to show you what it's like living with Gen 2. Some of you may know what it's like living with Gen 2. Yeah, I know. It's an odd life, isn't it? But once it's actually installed, it's so super stable. And obviously, if you're going to install Sabium, it's made for you. But if you want to install Gen 2, it's going to take you a little while to get it done, okay? I'm not saying days. It could be weeks. Weeks, weeks, weeks. All depending on what's going down. Oh, well, it's all successful. Okay, thank you. I'm going to say that to there. I can say goodbye to that now, can't I? Right, if I go to applications and multimedia now, open shot should be there. And so it is. Let's see how right, if it comes up. Nicey nicey. I like it. Go to help about. There it is. Don't forget you're gonna have to install Blender if you want to use it with the animated titles and stuff like that. Anyway, excuse me. Sapien 9. Want a Gen 2 based distro, don't want to build it yourself, all done for you. Super duper. It's only getting a lower score basically because it's so slow at installing all its applications. All right, for me, so it might be different for you, but for me, it's a bit slower. So I'm only going to give it 85. But hey, I really like it though. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.